Now, Russian President Vladimir Putin hailed Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi as a great friend. He said that just like how Make in India worked well for the country, Russia too must follow this example. Now, Putin was speaking at the plenary session of the Strong Ideas for New Times Forum in Moscow, stating that it's not wrong to adopt ideas of others. He said that they need a direct policy of promoting Russian products and brands on all platforms. Вот наши друзья в Индии и премьер-министр, большой друг России, господин Моди, он целую концепцию увидел несколько лет назад. Сделано, сделано в Индии. Ну и знаете, эффект есть. Реальный эффект для индийской экономики ощутимый. Вот не грех повторять то, что запретено, если и не нами, то нашими друзьями, и хорошо работает. Currently, India's Make in India initiative has completed about eight years, with foreign direct investment doubling to $83 billion. Make in India focuses on 27 key industries under the manufacturing and services sector, modifying public procurement norms. The Indian government gives preference to com companies whose goods and services have 50% or more local content. Now, this has worked well for India. Recording the highest ever FDI inflow in the financial year of 2022. According to the World Bank, India's rank in the World Bank's ease of doing business ranking also jumped significantly. India improved its rank from 142nd in 2014 to 63rd in 2022. It also ranked 40th position out of 132 countries in the Global Innovation Index 2022 rankings. Now, as the Russian president tries to emulate India's growth story, the Russian NSA, meanwhile, held telephonic talks with its Indian counterpart. The high-level talks come as Russia seeks to reach out to allies following Wagner chief's mutiny. India's foreign minister, Dr. S. Jay Shankar, too, highlighted the importance of India-Russia ties. Speaking at an event on Wednesday, he said that it goes beyond defense cooperation. Uh, the relationship with Russia... Uh, this relationship has been held steady, kept steady, despite all the turbulence in the world. So it's, it is actually for us a very unique relationship, I think in some ways for the Russians also. Uh, and in this period, uh, for all the uh, pressures on us, uh, I think we have taken, made our own evaluation of the importance of this relationship. And I do want to say that, the, you know, sometimes this relationship is dumbed down to things like, oh, we are dependent on them for arms. I think it's far more complex than that. Uh, there is a geopolitical logic for what uh, uh, we are doing, what we have uh, uh, been doing with Russia. Uh, and today, uh, many things which we were working on even prior to 2022, which is to how to expand our economic cooperation. 